Hello and welcome back everyone to the Powder Toy. I'm Spike Viper and welcome back my fellow Vuperians. We are going to be simulating alien invasions. Yeah, that did well in Universe Sandbox too. And alien invasions are fun. So the first one I want to just throw here is Maze. Look at that. See, it grows a little maze. Well, let's see what happens when it hits the moon. Oh, it just stopped. Oh, that's incredible. It just decided to not kill everything. That's nice. Very nice. Okay, so... It looks like Maze... Oh, but if we move it a little... Oh, there we go. See? It's not very friendly. See, and now it's growing uncontrollably. So the question is, is there any way to defend the planet from this growing Maze mess? Nu nukes are effective at taking out aliens, I think. Possibly. We'll see. We, we will see. Okay, uh... Oh god, it's coming around the other side! I didn't know it could do that! Okay, the nuke did not do much out. Okay, uh... Excuse me. I have to build another wall. <laughs> Darn it. Oh man. This isn't looking good, guys. I'm already struggling. Oh god, we need more firepower. What about the more destructive bomb? Oh, that just does nothing about- Oh, No. The aliens have reached the planet. Wow, I'm really incapable. That did not take very long for- Oh, and it came underneath as well. Everything's being eaten. This is so sad. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll try- Oh my god, look how quickly it grows! Scary stuff, man. Hmm. Can we contain it? Can we contain the alien invasion? Let's see if we can just contain the attack. That's probably step one if something happens, right? Before you start blowing it up, try to... Oh my god! Alright, that one is more dangerous than thir uh, maze. That is just absolutely tearing through the walls I just built. Um, alright, and now there's molten, like, stuff falling all over the place. <laughs> Gotta clean up. <laughs> um, soap is not going to work. I'll try, alright? I'll try. Let's see if soap helps. I will apply soap to the affected area. No, soap did not help. Well, actually, what? Are you kidding me? It's soap action. You've got to be kidding me. Wait, wait a moment. Huh. That wasn't supposed to happen. I put wall here, we don't have to worry about that side. Alright, so that makes it a little bit more fair for us. Um, now we have to actually design a way to protect against this thing. I don't think dropping deuterium will be very effective. I think we just have to build a wall that is capable of withstanding it. Which is not going to be easy, but it might be possible using our old friend... Colloid. Does anyone remember the Colloid song? Colloids versus a- oh, I'm gonna run out of time to fill this. Okay, there we go. Alright, that's something. That is indeed something. Uh, we're going to need <laughs> insulation. <laughs> the moon is gone, I'm sorry to inform. But the moon is gone, alright? There is no moon. <laughs> That's no moon. Um, uh, at this point, we kind of just have to put the strongest materials we have at our disposal just in a row and just kind of pray. Tungsten can survive much higher temperatures, so if it gets to the very edge, we'll have a tungsten wall, which maybe can survive the heat from it colliding. Oh no. Oh no, look at it hit. It's stripping away. It's stripping away all of the defenses. 
The ceramic is just being torn. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and the moon is growing. It's it's just eating all of it. All right. However, wait, wait, wait. The debris from the wall. No! How did it get through the bottom? What? Oh, because this goes diagonal. So, no, no, that's cheating. <laughs> Don't you dare cheat like that. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Um. All right. Uh, to defend that, we will just throw a big, thick wall of tungsten down here. I mean, I don't know if it'll actually be able to survive, but <laughs> good enough. Oh man, even though the wall is holding it back slightly, look down here, it's slowly The colloid is actually doing a fantastic job, I'll say that much, but it's slowly chipping away at it. Ooh, the pressure is increasing and it's starting to push the invasion back at least. We are having slight amounts of uh, success with the pushing back, but the issue is the amount of material the wall is losing over time is quite high. Okay, this is it. This is the moment. <laughs> Plasma cannon time, baby. <laughs> Plasma cannon! Is it working? I can't really tell if it's effective. It does seem to be doing some damage. I mean, it's holding the upper attack off. Oh, we have to get it to go down towards the rest of it, though. It's not enough to have a single plasma cannon here. Okay, okay. We've actually taken some territory back, so I will expand this up a bit. And let's put a fan here that pushes down, so that the pla- Oh, I don't want that to be connected. Oh no! Okay, that wasn't good. I may have to fix that. We want this to push down so the plasma goes to the rest of it. So this will push this way. Oh, wait, no, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do- Wait, what? Why are you- Oh. Oh. I can't seem to- Oh, there we go. Alright. Yes! Oh, it's working! It's wor- Oh no, I need to add more plasma. One moment. <laughs> plasma cannon! Do do do. Oh, we are actually kind of damaging our own wall though. Oh god, we're killing it, but we're also killing our wall. Um... Hmm. I'm gonna put a layer of quartz to try to just survive our own attack. Come on, <laughs> all we have to do is get rid of the alien invasion, and everyone will be safe. Oh, it doesn't seem to be working quite as well as it was before. The invasion's getting really close to the cannon. Although, look at the bottom! Look at the amount of- it's destroying. We need to make sure that there is a good amount of noble gas getting through here. Where are we? Noble gas. Oh, there we go. That's stronger. Alright. So, we've got our primary defense now. This plasma is making two lines. And these lines should hold off the invaders, I think. So we're gonna save very quickly, just because this could go horribly wrong. Let's see if it's able to break through our defenses. Confederate Texas is watching you. That's scary stuff. Alright. It is striking. Is it going to make it through the plasma? Oh, the plasma defenses work! Oh, it's holding it back! Slightly! It's actually kind of holding it! <laughs> no, it's coming around the bottom! Oh, no! Oh, if it wasn't able to come through the bottom, it would have kind of been contained. Are you kidding me? 
Oh, and the rest of it's falling back as well. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. The entire thing's kind of falling apart. Alright, emergency, emergency, emergency. Don't worry, I've got the emergency preparedness badge. I know what to do. I, I'm going to the school of confused YouTubers because that was weird. Okay, can it go through the back like that? No. All right. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Very fun. Oh, this one may actually die out. We may actually kill it. Oh, it's being forced to the, oh, we did it. We disabled it. All right, but we have to actually give it time to like grow and stuff. So let's kill all the cannons and put a big bolt. Oh, I think it's better if it's like irregular. I don't know, something like that. Hmm. I think we may have actually built like good enough defense. Oh, we got some growing here. Let's see. It does seem to be getting held back. Wow. That's that's impressive. We have created a plasma wall. Very nice. Those aren't cannons, those are throwers. All right, if you wanna be pedantic, sure, that's fair. That's fair, all right, that's fair. I'll, I'll accept that. I think this is causing slightly unfair conditions for the aliens, so I'm gonna open these walls up, which gives the plasma a bit more space to spread out. Um, where could it go, just from a tiny bit? All right. We, we have fixed things. We have our, pla oh wow, look, they're all merging. All the plasma guns. <laughs> We're ready for the next, the next attack. Deuterium neutron bombs are effective against life. Interesting. Let's see, is anything coagulations? Ooh. Oh, this one is... Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, that one is not being stopped as easily by the plasma. Coagulations, huh? Oh, look at it go. This isn't good. This is very not good. It's going through the defenses like they're nothing. It even has a creepy name. It's like... Ugh... Oh no! Oh no! It's breaking the wall! <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, the main, the center of the uh, plasma cannons is actually holding it back, but the edges are being damaged heavily. Can we hold it off? It, it does, it does seem like there is an attempt to hold back the horde. Oh man, but the top up here, this plasma cannon's about to get disabled. And the bottom one is too. I guess we're just gonna have to watch and see what happens. Very exciting. Hmm. They're getting in between. Look at that. They're knocking out the sections in between the cannons. Mm. This isn't good. Ah, that's even worse. <laughs> oh my god, it's about to break through. Oh god, it's breaking through the wall. Okay, what's the plan? Water is not an effective weapon. Plasma is so much cooler. Use the wall to protect... Use the wall to protect... Use the wall to protect Earth. <gasps> no way. I just want to put on the record that this is a crazy idea and it could go horribly wrong, alright? 
However, I'm legally required to try it. Nope, that, that just broke. But what if I just... Oh no, okay. I, I was like, can I use maze? And the answer is no. Oh god. We have a breach! <laughs> we have a breach. Oh, poor Earth is starting to catch on fire. It's broken through the bottom. Oh no. No! All of that time, all of that research, all of the weapons development. And there was nothing we could do. Earth has been attacked. Hmm, but can we stop it? Let's try pouring water on it. Steam, and oh, some maze survived too. Uh-oh. That's accidental. Let's get rid of the maze before it causes problems. It kind of has already caused problems, but... Quickly, cool down the earth with water! The steam will give us a blanket. A mighty blanket that'll protect us. <laughs> Doesn't seem to actually be doing much, I'll be honest. It worked better in my head, alright. I think it's over, folks. I think, I think Coagulation won against our wall. Hmm. One thing before we end, though, I want to see. One thing I am curious about is if I put it inside of the planet. <laughs> I just, I just want to know what'll happen if I fill Earth with Coagulation. Wow, it gave up. Oh, never mind, it didn't give Oh! Oh, I see, the mass collapsing on it kills it. It does a ton of damage initially. But then it goes into, like, sleep. It goes into stasis. Oh my god, this is like a horror movie! Okay, okay, this is totally like a horror movie. You know why? Because there could be... A tiny, in like a forest, there could be a tiny bit of coag, and it'll just sit there. It'll sit there, and then someone one day is just digging a hole, and then the moment they dig that hole, it springs out of the ground, and they have unearthed a terrible secret that's going to destroy the world. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, the deuterium leaked! Is the dupe going to protect it? Well, I guess there's only one thing we can do now that it's covered in deuterium. Mmm, neutrons. Mmm, <laughs> neutrons. Ooh. Okay, that was not very effective at all. Nope. By Earth. It was nice knowing you, Earth. I did like you while you lasted. The aliens have won. It's over. The coagulation has taken us all. But I will see you all next time when we probably return. Actually, let's vote. Do you guys want to see more Space Station or Isotope Z Factory? Space Station? Isotope Z Factory. Space Station, Isotope Z Factory. Mm. Well, that's about even. <laughs> that didn't help much. Um, I will try to figure out which one is more wanted. All right.
So, before I go, one thing you should know is that if you want to be a part of the economy, we have a virtual stock market. If you want to be a part of the government, we run a virtual government. If you want to be a full-fledged Vuperian citizen, if you want a chance to talk to me in DMs or whatever weird stuff you're into, you can go ahead and go over to... Okay, that was a really large D. Don't take that out of context. That one was awful. Wow. Mmm... This... Dot G G slash spook vooper. And when you go here, you'll think you're so cool and stuff. I'm gonna put it in the chat. There's no excuse for you to not click it. All right, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Make sure to watch the video version, and I will see you all next time. Peace.